best among track fighters. The high octane offense of Canelo, but the slick and sturdy defense of Lara Alberstein. Something's got to give. I'll tell you what, there's electricity in this building. I've been around for 35 years in boxing, and I know it when I see it. There's a lot of electricity here. Well anticipated fight. And of course, on Showtime pay per view, we brought you Danny Garcia defeating Lucas Matisse and Lara. Off to a start here as he pops Canelo. Of course, largely partisan crowd for Canelo will react to everything he throws, but a good combination by Laura. That and that's a different kind of speed all in and of itself. It's a timing speed. Another crisp combination through the high guard by Laura. So a great start for the slick Cuban here in Sin City. <laughs> Round two. Strong start for Eros Landy Laura. His defense is basically his movement. That's really true. Oh, there was a off balance, right off balance, though. He was off balance. He, Canelo felt if he could corner Lara like Angulo, he could hit him. So far, he's not been able to corner. But now Canelo able to at least throw a combination that connected, blocked by Lara. But again, the, the crowd reacting feverishly, and Lara is able to sneak that sniper like right through the guard. Or left, I should say, from the south part. You gotta keep them busy even if they're not landing. Oh, good catching shoot yeah. combination by Lara. Left hook to the body by Canelo, but Lara comes back with a lightning quick combination. They're using just enough movement. Nice right hand to the body by La Canelo. Another right hand targeting the midsection by the Mexican superstar. And he's better off trying to get to the body first, and Lara will not be an easy target. Canelo leads with a right hand. That was a Left hook on the bell line, or Lara motions to the referee. Yeah, the underway, Canelo's 46th professional bout, and yet hasn't faced many left-handed fighters. We know he faced Austin Trout, sticking to the game plan. Fires off an economical one-two no, no, no. combination. Lara's trainer, Ronnie Shields, told us that Lara's the master of making you adapt to his style. Also. There's a straight left that tags Canelo in the face for this ring. Showing up the real estate. And again, this is what I mean by setting traps. Yeah. Lara is a very difficult guy to deal with. With a couple of right hands. There's a nice combination that culminated with a left hook to the body. Now Canelo beginning to find his range. Forward earlier, but now he's actually making an effort to get these and hands up. Canelo works the body. You know, I wonder what Lara will do because it, right now it's been his best offensive weapon. Right hand to the body by Canelo Alvarez. A minute left in the fourth. The bell in round number five. One of their two common opponents, Austin Trout, thinks that Lara can and will do everything that Floyd Mayweather did to Canelo, much as Mayweather did. Oh, oh. there's a good combination by Lara. That's what Angulo did. That's landed. As we are coming up on the final 60 seconds, there was a right uppercut on the inside, but a counter right by Long to number six. Terrific fight thus far between Eris Landy Lara, the defensive specialist, the product of the powerhouse Cuban national team, and Canelo Alvarez. Things he said kind of put it over the top. There's the Southpaw Orthodox. Feet tangling, and we're 45 seconds away from the midway point of this 12-round non-title affair. Again, contract weight of 155 pounds. Many people, including Lara, feel that the fact that Canelo wanted it at 155 and not 154 for the title is that he's having trouble making this weight and that he will eventually move up to middleweight. Canelo says no, he's going to stay at 154, but this is about honor and glory, not about a belt by Canelo. And now Canelo just going. Be smart there and smother. Good, good job by Canelo to not accept that smother to continue to try to work despite the smother attempt by Lara. Of this mega main event scheduled for 12 rounds. All right, let's bring in our unofficial scorer, Steve Forrest. Steve, how do you have it at the midway point of the fight? 
I have Lara ahead four rounds to two. Judges have to differentiate between aggressiveness and ineffective aggressiveness. For the most part, especially when Lara moves to the left, Canelo's not cutting off the ring. It's been Canelo to the body, Lara upstairs. I give Lara right there. Canelo was in punching range. He watched Lara and he didn't get off. There's a double left hook to the body, followed by a right hand in the midsection by Canelo. You don't want to waste the chances when you do trap your There's opponent. another double left hand by Canelo Alvarez. Lara comes back with a straight left that bounces off Canelo's shoulder. Lead left hand by Canelo. What we haven't seen is the double left hook from Canelo. He's been able to get the one into the body, but because Lara moves, he hasn't been able to get the second cut. Oh, cut over the right eye of Eris Landy Lara. Between Canelo Alvarez and Eris Landy Lara. Both of them wearing the marks of this battle this far. Does as good a job as we saw in our last fight. But Stitch Duran took care of Abner Manis cut over his eye, but round eight is... Shot by Canelo. And Farhood has the fight unofficially tightening up as Lara now ahead by one point as he scored the last round for Canelo. Again, that's our Showtime unofficial Stig Lara. There's a combination by Canelo. Lara flashing the jab, but you're right, Al. Not throwing a lot of punches, and he absorbs another punch to the gut. And the Canelo Alvarez jab has reemerged. And that's helped him in this the eighth round. The tide beginning to turn here in the last couple of rounds. The crowd firmly behind Canelo Alvarez. Beautiful. In the game, Al, the jab. As we go to Jim Gray now with this report on Lara's uh, medical condition. All right, he was just examined by Dr. Damon Zavala, and the doctor has told me that the cut is very deep on his right eye, but as of now, he does not feel at this moment it is a threat at all to stop the fight. He's going to keep checking him. The punches that Canelo has landed in this uh, fight, there's the jab that Ronnie Shields wanted, have been body punches. Sometimes judges don't pay attention to that. Uh, but in this case, they've been a lot of clean punches to the body. There's a right hand to the body by Canelo. Lead left cross by the southpaw Lara. But again, Pauly, he is unable to get on track. He's utilizing the footwork, but Canelo still yeah, and Canelo starting to find the range a little better, getting off more punches. There's a combination that scored for Lara. Necessarily look that way. No, it doesn't, although he is getting busier, yeah. but now Canelo working the body. Blood streaming down the right side of Lara's face as Canelo digs away at the body. And this partisan crowd, euphoric with everything the red-headed Mexican throws at Eros Landing seconds of the night. And you have to acknowledge they will be partisan for you, but he's doing some good work. Oh, he's got, combination. He's got to do that catch and shoot again. He's got to get it. He did it there, but he got to be more consistent with the catch and shoot on the offense for the defense to offense trend. The bell in round number 10 at the MGM Grand Lara avoids that left hook. Downstairs. Early on, oh, good ball yeah, comes there. Early on, Lara had done a good job of creating doubt in Canelo's mind in his own offense. He's got to do that again. He's got a good start to this round. He's got to continue to make Canelo doubt himself because he's gone away from that. And Canelo's... Let's fight, Alan. That's exactly what we're getting to. But you've mentioned oh, something about shot. me making a great point. Please, you did <laughs> You did because he was on the, working that body and working on the side. Robert Burns letting them fight on the inside. And, that's... and he is also continuing to target the head. Although he got jacked there with the lead left uppercut that he just caught the end of as he was escaping. We head into the final 10 seconds of the 10th round. It has been just as advertised between Canelo Alvarez and Eros Landy Law. Competitive matchup here going into round number 11. And Paulie, despite the fact that Canelo has had some success to the body, there's Landy Lara still doing a good job when it comes to utilizing the footwork and, and managing to avoid a lot of the attack and land with those economical combinations. Yeah, you know, he had himself a good comeback round because for a few rounds he had looked like he was starting to slow down. So good, good comeback for a lot of Let's see how Canelo... thrown enough jabs. When he's thrown more jabs, it's been effective. And our unofficial score, Steve Farhood has Lara up by two points, and that could very well be the case as... Lara sticking no, to no, no, his no, no, no. game plan, the gifted boxer from Cuba, not getting hit. 
And there, Canelo working the body again. But there comes back Lara. Canelo 7-1 and one in 12-round fights, and Lara is 1-1. One and one. Impatient with Lara, certainly. They're rooting for Canelo. They want him to stand and engage. But and Lara's picking him up. Combination upstairs by Lara. This round, Lara hasn't done that much great offensive work, but it might be enough based upon his movement. I don't know. There's another combination that connects on Canelo's face, and Lara doing a good job of avoiding Canelo's attack and actually scoring when necessary. Yeah, he's boxed a very smart round. round. He's taking the crowd out of it yeah. while, while eliminating the effectiveness. Lara's Ronnie Shields, his trainer, saying that Canelo is desperate. He may very well need a, a knockout here in the 12th round to, to win the fight. It's, it's been close, and maybe Canelo fully cognizant of that as he's on the attack. But Lara again using his footwork to avoid the point of the attack. And this fight could very well be up for grabs in this round. Remember, Lara may have lost the 12 round decision that he deserved against Williams, but he probably got one against Carlos Molina that he didn't deserve. So we'll see what happens. A very effective to try yeah. to fight out of him. Good point. See how this final minute shapes up. Close round. Blocks that punch. It is, but I think Lara's footwork and defensive ability giving the edge, and there he connects again to the head. So Lara picking off Canelo. There's a left hook to the body by Canelo as they clinch. Lara is just so sharp, but at times Canelo is also able to muscle him and force in those body shots. He gets off first here. It's a key moment right here. 20 seconds left in the fight. That one up below the belt. 15 seconds. Lara utilizing the movement. Canelo coming in with a short left uppercut. And we are going to the judges' scorecards. Canelo and Lara go the distance. Should we go to the scorecards? We have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside, Jerry Roth, scores about 115 to 113 for Eris Lundi Lara. Judge Dave Moretti sees it 115 to 113 for Canelo Alvarez. And Judge Levi Martinez scores about 117 to 111 in favor of the winner, Canelo Alvarez.